The next and final method that we will be implementing in our linked list class is reverse method. This method is used to reverse the linked list. Firstly, we will check if the length of our linked list is 0 or it is 1. If so, then we will simply return from here without any further implementation. Otherwise, what we will do is here is we will create a node named previous node and we firstly will point it to null. After that, we will create a current pointer to the current node like it will point to our head in the start. After that, we will create a next node. This will be pointing to the second node of our linked list. For that, we can simply do our self.head.next. After this, we will point our head to point to the tail as it will be new head for our reverse linked list. And similarly, we will make our tail to point to the head. But since head is already changed, we can point it to current node as it is also pointing to the head node. After this, we will implement a while loop in which we will check for current node. While current node is not none, we will point our current nodes next to previous node. Then we will point our previous node. Then we will simply make our previous node to current node. After that, we will make our current node equal to next node. After this, we will firstly check if the next node is not null. Then we will point our next node to next node dot next. Meaning we will uh, make our next node to point to the new node, like uh, next node in our linked list. Now, uh, if I run this code, if I run this code, you can see earlier our linked list was having elements 0, 1, 2, 3. Now the elements are reversed in order 3, 2, 1, 0.